of those above them. Mm -hmm. he'll, uh, he'll give you a nod and says, uh, I, uh, I will walk. So, so thanks for the company. And he'll stand, taking his cloak around him again, and uh, going, he nods to the innkeeper, mm -hmm. takes his leave out of the tavern. So Corbury, uh, you know, says, uh, there's nothing more to say on that matter. It was a sad affair. So it seems. The good fireball doesn't seem to... Well, he sure, he sure hasn't gotten over it, uh, which is no surprise, I suppose. We'll also explain a few things, looking now at the... Wrapped emblem on the table. Duncan says, uh, I wear the white cloak. I support my king's decision. Of course, sir. Oh, he seems uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. uh, he doesn't need to say more on the matter. Well, I guess we'll keep eating. Uh, Desm will leave the thing on the table until, uh, basically until Sir uh, Gwen has left for for the night or something. Then he will pocket it, like put it in one of his inner inner pockets, still wrapped up. And he'll look across the table and just give you a very cautious look at that. Yeah, Desm looks and says, "If everything." goes horribly wrong, it might be something we could use. Um, I'd rather not, though. We have been pressed far, from far too many directions to support the bit of steel, and I don't like it. It will manage, I feel. Though the idea of what it could do, do to House Peak is intriguing. Yes. Um, but from what I understood from the fireball, he already has peak, which is no surprise either. Gormi is, above all, all else, ambitious and greedy. If he was promised to, well, the eradication of Trent, for instance, then he would happily sign up with anyone who would do it, I think. Oh, we have no need to get into. We still have no need to get into that petty squabble for now. The squabble is not going to be very petty for that much longer. I feel if he actually returns, then the realm is going to burn. And um, we are sadly somewhat surrounded with people who seem to support him. Although I, I would be very surprised if uh, if uh, Lord Karen would actually side with him. I doubt it, but though I didn't, of course I have never personally met him. <laughs> Looking very pointedly over to Alaric. Mm -hmm. The squire ends at another table with uh, Sir Ashra. Mm -hmm. He seems to be more comfortable with that man, probably because they've been with him for longer. You need to break him in a bit, you know. <laughs> so, do you want to get the ale and... <laughs> Wench, over here, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, drink all of the, all of the ale. Uh... Yeah, the one-eyed tavern keeper uh, keeps looking at you. I'm sort of seeming to smile if you ever catch at your gaze. So big. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> in like a <laughs> way, or more like in a actually friendly way. He's yeah. friendly. Oh, okay, he's not malevolent. <laughs> I, I think he's just like, curious yes, about the size. That. <laughs> exactly, he's like, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. The sweet <laughs> taste of death, is it not? We, 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 we all arrived just like, stuck on the toilet. Yeah. Really in the background, Manakai is rolling my five endurance dice, trying to see if he can whittle me down. <laughs> It's going to take him a while. Yeah. 
as the night progresses, if any of you stays for long enough, you'll certainly also come over with uh, with extra extra drinks on the house. Oh, lovely. And say that uh, I appreciate your service to the marshes, my lords. Oh, that's, if there's that's anything I can do for course. you, do say so. That's like the, the nicest fuckers. thing anyone has ever said to us, though. <laughs> it is the nicest thing. It's like he's actually happy for the work we do, you know? I'll tip him well. <laughs> you don't need to, it's... Oh. On the house. I couldn't take your coin, my lords. <laughs> See? On All the right. house. Sure, he bro. looks up to the, the peak banner on the wall and say, yeah. Uh, I used to serve, you know. Oh? Skirmish is <laughs> white before the peace, lost me my fingers. Even before then I had my eye. Mm. Cut out by Dornishman. Mm. Long dagger. He sort of shows with his other hand mm -hmm. how long it was. Quite long. <laughs> it's like two meters. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. A lyrical like point to his scar and say Dornish spear. Oh, that's just uh... And now I'll never fight again. Not for lack of trying, but I uh, wouldn't be allowed. We are many we are many of the men here speaking to them. Remember Remember what they did to us. Yeah. There's some nods. It's just, uh, just lords like you who still remember as well. It is our duty to stand vigilant against them. You never know. You have our support. Me and the rest of us, of course. Many others, I'm sure. Word is spreading that you are the ones to turn to. <laughs> mm. Great. <laughs> it's a good thing, is the question. There's some, there's some smiles that says, my good man, your, your honest and true words inspires us greatly. Thank you. If ever you find a lack of men, just smiles, send the word out. Mm. It shall be at the forefront of my mind. I shall actually be writing that down. Remember yeah. Future Remember reference. Of the maimed man. That's his old cool. blade. There it is. I can't wield a shield easily, but I could strap one to my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's I fought, but... Uh, I won't live another winter. Hmm. And who wants to die shivering in their bed? Mm. Like a food... Yeah, Alaric is taking notes. I am actually taking notes, yes. Just uh, drink and eat what you can, my lords. And uh, when you go to Highgarden, remind them all of the past. I'm Aye. We shall. Good lord. Just, uh... All right, I don't want to take too much of your time. Just <laughs> Gee, bows and... Back behind the mm -hmm. bar again, looking up at his sword, reaching to take it down, drops it on the floor. <laughs> oh, loud clang, mm -hmm. hangs it up again. Some of them may begin to clean a glass, as they do, bartenders. Mm -hmm. What? Uh, with his well, uh, clean, yeah, okay. and then with a the rag. What? Was <laughs> Whoa. No, he's stabbing us from across the room with a <laughs> with a broken mug. <laughs> well, you know. Peed on the glass. <laughs> on the glass. <laughs> no, it's, a, it's, a, it's a reach tradition, Nima. Don't be afraid. <laughs> Nima, a, Nima looks very confused about this whole thing. If you don't have broken glass in your bed. <laughs> if you haven't slept in one bed made out of broken glass, you haven't lived. <laughs> you know, Sir Alaric, I'm, I may rather not. <laughs> That's why we have so many eunuchs in reach. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible accidents, you see. <laughs> oh. The blood everywhere. <laughs> mm. uh, well, Nima was really suspicious about all this. He's gonna attack us any moment now. Any yes, moment. She's she's got her blade out on the, of the table. table. Yeah, her blade's like half right out the, the scabbard. Scabbard. lower belly. Yeah. It's like Nima, what the hell are you doing? Well, maybe <laughs> if if he like us? if he was giving us the stink eye and then like hobbled forward and started talking like that and then like he turned to Len is like you whore son and then like attacking him, you know, then he would probably, you know. No, generally people seem to be looking at you, uh, but they don't seem to be any way 
angry or I that's mean, great you seem to be supportive of you i i love the reach you know so many friendly people really let's like never it. leave again okay <laughs> just snuggle up if just, any just of you stay to about midnight uh, uh -huh. I mean, yeah. you could it's a friendly place but he will bring over a uh a whole sort of a sort of a baked fruit pie with sort of a oh, warm crust. Oh, Say delicious. that it was meant for tomorrow, but uh, but since my lords are staying up so late, you must be hungry again. And uh, oh. it's a great honor if you would. Oh, try of this, course, um, love this homemade, is homemade fruit pie. Drunken this hugs like around. This is too much. It's this is too much sweetness. Nima can't take it. <laughs> <laughs> she goes to bed early, like, like sour it must face. Be something. <laughs> They're too nice. Oh. No such thing as love. It was the whole house. But it is. It is certainly. Uh, he certainly did not. He he wasn't stingy with the with the whole fruit. And, no. Uh, it is very sweet and very peachy. No. Uh, doesn't no, doesn't it, eat is, and no. And be this nostalgic. <laughs> Nima's like, no, I don't trust him. Don't you trust him. It's great and pie. very rich. Yeah, doesn't really. Alaric, where's the whole house in this place? To himself, like, oh, of course, there's one. Laura well, doesn't know where the whole house is. There's, there's a he barmaid the that's home. pretty he'll nice go, to him. He goes, Look, Probably this is too hurt. much for me. I need a breather. <laughs> goes to the whole house. Laura probably tries, like, they are the not barmaid as nice first. at the whorehouse. Huh? Yeah. They're not even as nice at the whorehouse. There's no pie in the whorehouse. There's no pie in the whorehouse. No, no, Laura tries, luck with that barmaid. I mean, unless you specifically asked for it, I don't know how what to say. What house did he go to? He's retreat. He's retreating to bed. Oh, okay. He's retreating to bed. <laughs> what house did you? <laughs> you know, if we're going to be traveling, they actually want to sleep. Of women at the whorehouse. I don't need pie. There's a ball it made. You, it makes you fat and slow. You know, they're well paid and they're pretty. That's yeah. that's a mean. Uh, Alaric will definitely tries luck. Both. both. Yes. <laughs> well, not at the whore. Well made and pretty. Yeah. No, You're like the king. I, the king doesn't look. pay the prostitutes, though. So you know. Aww. Yeah, that's I, on I'm you. A... You have to pay. You're me. you're exceedingly well paid. Depends those, but... on what you want to spend. Yeah. There's a varied price range. Mm. <laughs> Are you gonna send selection. me uh, Excel arc? <laughs> <laughs> you have you have a whorehouse. Customize just... your prostitute. <laughs> oh, now we're talking. <laughs> not uh, not not quite. Um, but basically, mm -hmm. if you're from gold, that should give you a good night. Yeah, careful. you plenty. A gold, uh, holy crap. <laughs> gold? That's one of the good night. Pricey. That is, that is a good night. That is a if very wanna, good night. If you want to not spend that much, you can just not think about it too much. That's you, like you a Tyrion. You know, get a, get a quickie in the corner. <laughs> what do you think about me, sir? You, you, you have enough money to have a good night, even without getting the most expensive treatment. Okay, so... You know, I don't know. I haven't been to a whorehouse <laughs> before, Manikai. Right. Maybe you should. Well, like I mean, to get you go in, you pay, you get to a room. You have an yeah. hour or two. Then you can leave if you want. Yeah. Or you uh, can rest in the room, and that's fine. I'm not talking about what I'm doing in there. I'm talking about how much. No, <laughs> don't worry about it. Your pay it's can... like, hey, it's only been to Bravos, and the price is... Oh. Okay, Bravos it's... doesn't have a lot of it, actually, because they mm. compete with the free cities. That use slavery to do it, okay. which is generally much cheaper and much easier to make them do crazy things. Uh, That's true. Yeah. So who sails to Bravos to find prostitutes? No one does that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, Women there are plump and wealthy. So. We, uh, we have a good night, all things considered, eating pie. Nima can have the prostitutes. Alaric will try his luck. Uh, the barmaid. He saw her wink. Uh, saw her look at him. And uh, I'm sure everyone will have a good night all around. <laughs> so it's going to yeah, be Bree. You certainly will as well. And Bree is and Bree is not talking. She's just Bree's uh, so much of what's happening. She's <laughs> at the other table actually. So. He's eating a lot of pie, I imagine. Yeah. That's but, just. Uh, that's, uh, Scratching, you know, scratching Quarla and Quarla on the head, sitting there eating a bit of pie. Mm -hmm. Missing. Being overshadowed by the giant knight next to you. No, no, he's off. He's off. Uh, Six up the wenches. Uh, uh, yeah, he's got a waitress. That's all. Well, you're all you're all alone now. It's the time to kill you. Six up with hay in his hair. Let's just say that. 
<laughs> Practicing with his sword. Experience. Yeah, sword play is important. It is. It? Yeah. In all aspects. How did it come to this? <laughs> Quite easily. Yeah, well, well, I can tell you a thing or two. <laughs> I am a married man and have three children. You could have three more. <laughs> <laughs> That's not your <laughs> oh. Well, <laughs> yes. A merry night. That was a good night. The next mm -hmm. ones are not as spectacular. You don't meet any people nearly as important or who give you any any good advice or any some such. People are generally appreciative of you, though, and you're welcomed where in, in the taverns you visit. Uh, this is a uh, good sign that the small people like us, at least. Yeah, we are. We have good reputation. All things we're not. We don't have much military power. We don't have much money, but the small folk like us. Well, that's we really what matters. It's because we haven't had to reef them in flames. No, our flames protect them. It's fires of protection. Hmm? Wreathe as in take care of. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and generally the, the travels are, are nice. The cities sort of grow denser as you near the Terrell lands. And as you move in, you do see the, uh, the, the tulip fields out here are, are quite something. It's a few more days as you... As you Right nearer towards the Mander, the roads, the road is getting, the trails are getting better now. Actually, a bit of a, bit of a road. As you're near the, uh, the Mander sides, riding towards High Garden day by day, not going too fast, certainly not slow either. Uh, some of you, for some of you, this will be the the first uh, travel tri trip to High Garden. I think mm -hmm. Alaric and uh, Desim have been there before. Indeed. Uh, Jagrain certainly hasn't. And uh, yeah, I don't think anyone else in the party has. Okay. For Landers and Breathers, is certainly their first experience. They've only heard the stories. And what stories indeed. And yeah. most, yeah. most of them for you should be kept behind closed doors, but. <laughs> not been in the high garden, though. Show you. For those who don't know, this is the sigil of, of your liege lords. Growing strong. Terrells. As you are now in Terrell lands. <laughs> lots of uh, lots of fruit plantations and flowery fields and such, uh, generally. Um, but before I give you a bit of piece of exposition nearing High Garden, mm -hmm. uh, I'll take. Like a three minute bio break. If you want to do the same, go ahead. Jonas left anyway, so. <laughs> Don't want to waste my good exposition without him. I'll get mm -hmm. my, uh, my so other cider. Be right back. Yeah. So, Tina, just you and me. Yeah. I don't think Nima's been to High Garden before, has she? No, she has not been in. Uh, mostly Bravos. We, we can be lost together. Sure. I can hold your hand. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what happens be... in... What hap dark, dark. What happens in High Garden stays in High Garden. I mean, you, you, guys, have, you guys have already put me in the servant, servant together. <laughs> Where would it be? What? Jo Jonas, already, Jonas already made the joke that would be me and Lucas, the servant. Oh. <laughs> Is Lane is gay? Not to your knowledge. Oh, well, I don't know. Lucas is cute, you know. Maybe. You know, I, th I think Jonas way of putting off what happens in Highgon stays in Highgon is the best. Well, that's well, that's what I just said. Mm -hmm. You know, we, mm -hmm. we, we could find f fun in High Garden if you want. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm oh, hi, jo hi, Jonas. Igno ig hey. Ignore the fun we're having. He's not here yet, I think. Yes, you know, don't oh. make any bastards. It's. Uh, Nima's sterile. 
I know you. There's no Nima, no problem. It's more of you a... said we need more family members. No, well, you're not gonna we... be able to make any on Nima. We didn't. We well, you're not really in the family, so. You said we need more family, Jonas. Yeah, well, you have a we have a wife, you know. Yes. That's that's what we need. It's gonna take time. It's take about nine months. Come on. I mean, I have to. We right. have to like I'll, spend some time at home. I'll, do I'll you need Do you need guidance? The, the clock is ticking. I have it. You said nine months from now. All right. Oh. <laughs> Does Leonis need guidance? No. When it comes to pleasing women. <laughs> Nima can tell sure, a lot about it. I'm sure Nima and Sir Elric can, can together figure it out. Yeah, but Nima can show him in an exotic way. Oh. And this is how we do it Bravos. Oh. You're you curious, know, just admit it. You know, I'm sure Sir Alaric would, would love your shoe. would love to hear about it. I know, he's kind of scared. Uh, what I <laughs> what so far Nima has gathered from Alaric is he's kind of freaked out. About Nima. It's like, no! Uh, and La Larian's response to this in chat, by the way, is imagine all the courage rolls Lanus would have to roll in bro if he went into a ruffle. Mm. I'm back. Hello, uh, Hadver. Hello. So, the, the question was brought up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Lanus wants to know how to please a woman. No, no, I did not bring the question up. You guys brought the question up. <laughs> Let me just roll a Laric specialized dice for this. <laughs> yeah, you have a specialized skill for this. Yep. Yes, yeah. All right, there we go. <laughs> 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 so what you're saying is, normally for persuading people, you're horrible, but for seducer only, you're heroic. <laughs> I, no, no, I no, no, no. fucking roll four sixes. <laughs> you know what? Nima will add to. So Alaric does not know how to please a woman. He knows how to please himself. <gasps> That's Nima scandalous. knows how to please a woman. That's it. Challenge accepted. Yeah, He's going to get the okay, sure. free. All right, let's go. <laughs> you and me. <laughs> well, there they go. I'm, I'm, but yeah, how, how Nima's a hermaphrodite and Alaric is a Brothel huge off. knight. <laughs> Brothel off, yes. <laughs> how do man? Mm. Oh. Jo jo Jonas seemed to object to the idea of Barson. He said we need more family members. We need more family members. Siding yes. with the right person boss. might be allowed to make those uh, real. Oh. I should marry again then. Uh, marry who? I don't know. Yeah, a lot of needs to get married off. We need more women and uh, more Just like some... kids mainly. Well, oh, we do have that girl at home. Yeah, right. but Lainus needs to bed her and get her pregnant. No, and the other girl. I was, I was told nine girl. months. I mean, I have that the clock is ticking now. Oh, that I other mean... girl. Yeah, but she's. You know, we we should marry her off. Alaric shouldn't really. Oh yeah, but isn't she along her. with us? She Who? should be. Catelyn. Would she along with us, Catelyn? No. Okay. <laughs> Mel well, just looked at me and said Alaric yeah, shouldn't be. Yeah, but her sister. <laughs> Alaric shouldn't be. High God here, was not a place for her. Okay. Oh. Wonderful. She hadn't been at court for long enough to. Yeah, of course. It would. Course. She she it told you that it would not probably. I mean, she's impressionable. Bit... Mm -hmm. Uh. Yes. No, no, we, uh, we perfectly... You know, Nima's looking uh -huh. forward to High Garden. <laughs> yeah, no, we understand perfectly. <clears throat> well, if everyone's back... I believe so. Give my enthusiastic... Man, no, we're, going, no. we're doing the rounds of the whorehouse, it seems. Yeah. <clears throat> Whore off. Yeah. Desim as well? <laughs> uh, no. No, no. Uh, he, he, is, he is happily married. To I'll pay his wife you. and his work. So well, I'll pay. that is really sad. <laughs> that <laughs> what? you add your work. Not, not the wife. That you said you're married to your wife and your work. He the is. work is just sad. What? But, but, <clears throat> but the ravens. But I'm, but I'm dedicated <laughs> to I, my I, work. Just saying, guys, I like how when you scroll up to the side, that you just see like breathe by poking around like she's like spying around the corner. <laughs> Allah needs love as well. He does. Wait, what? So, Kavala, does Kavala want to make a persuasion uh, seduced check? <laughs> Kavala looks at you, he seems That's good. It's not amused at minus, all. Minus three, because. Minus three. Because, <laughs> because bird. <laughs> <laughs> because, because bird. Hey, hey, hey. And and we, no, I'm just saying we don't know what, what's going on with that, with that huge cat, you know? Oh. Yeah, that's true. Oh. Probably best we don't know, actually. There's it's nothing gonna be, more it's gonna be, it's, Harry. 
It's got to be a cat bird hybrid popping out. You're not going to do anything to Mesa Harry. <laughs> I'm, I'm, you know, I haven't. Better not. But, but Fowler is a ladies' man. <laughs> yeah, but he Mesa Harry is all, all about the... food. He's a real charmer, that one. Yeah. All right, let's. Uh... <laughs> so there we were. <laughs> let's let's carry on. <laughs> there we on our were. Voyage. Looking at his weeder. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's go to High Garden. <laughs> yes. Please Look, let's S continue. Leader. Please. S <laughs> I'll, I'll wait. Come on. Go on, Manica. Don't wait. Manica, as because... you uh, as you ride towards High Garden, and some of it, some of you for the first time seeing it, uh, the sort of density of villages begin to be um, to, to raise. They're, they're pushed more tightly together along the road to the point where it's almost one continuous one. Uh, it becomes a continuous scene of sort of idyllic village life with, with shoemakers sitting out by the side of the road waving to travelers as they make shoes <laughs> and, and happy women gathering flowers in little baskets. <laughs> and, like, and like big fat ducks walking around. Yeah. Yes. The land is covered in orchards, growing red apples, yellow pears, and lots of vineyards still uh, uh, covering the land with fresh green and red grapes. There's sort of a, a warm, summery feeling to the area, and, and you sort of have the delicious scent of flowers of one sort or another, ripe apples or fresh, freshly baked goods as you ride through the villages from the many small baking shops that are spread everywhere. Food is a plenty, and uh, that can be seen on the older people as well. It's almost like the young have the ability to uh, stay thin and pretty, and then as soon as they marry off, they, uh, they grow quite, uh, mm -hmm. quite, quite visibly. As you ride closer to the castle, the villages uh, stop as the land surrounding the actual castle of High Garden is, uh, is full of fields growing golden roses. There are sort of small pavilions stringed along in narrow paths going through the, the sort of rose gardens. And you can sort of hear distantly as you ride along the giggles and uh, the different musical instruments playing from different little tents set up out there. As you see the, uh, the castle in the distance, I'll make that. Uh, available for you. <clears throat> it is very white and has a strong golden tint to it. It has three visible curtain walls growing taller and higher uh, as the elevation increases towards the central keeps and huge towers that are sort of uh, the focus of the of the castle. The outer wall is, uh, is not terribly high and is filled with small towers and behind it uh, you can see as the elevation leans up is the famous Briar Labyrinth of High Garden that goes the entire way around the castle. The uh, outer towers are round and new while the oldest of the towers and keeps in the center are square and are said to, the square ones, are said to date all the way back to the Age of Heroes and even before then. As you move in through the tower, past the first gate, you notice the many golden roses growing all over the white of the castle. There's a smell of perfume and honey and summer everywhere. The guards are wearing gilded armor and they stand very proud and clearly enjoying their life as you pass them. Behind the second wall, it's a plethora of fountains, groves, and shady courtyards. The area is filled with the sounds of music and mummers, as the Tyrell court enjoys the many naturally growing fruits of the multitude of gardens, melons, grapes, fire, plums, and naturally the golden peaches of High Garden. Passing the third and absolutely huge wall takes you to the inner courtyard of the castle. You see the white towers and the golden roofed keeps all around you, Closest is a huge white stable building where you can see the most magnificent steeds you've ever seen. Uh, they're beautiful, well-trained and groomed. Beasts of discipline and strength. All around you, the many young and beautiful people go about the business of the day. 
flirting, playing, musing, and skeeving, all dressed in beautiful dresses and wonderful doublets. Your horses are quickly taken by a stable boy, whose looks at first makes you mistake him for a high lord's well-groomed heir. This is Highgarden, the seat of mighty House Tyrell, the lord's paramount of all the reach. It is the accumulated, accumulated wealth and power of a thousand years of kingship, or the largest of the seven kingdoms. It is a true wonder of this world. Moving past the stables, you see the great sept, the third largest in all the realm. Next to it, the renowned godswood of the three singers. Trees that have stood here since the age of heroes, where it is said that many visions have been had. You are brought uh, by a servant to the Rose Keep, known by that name, because it is uh, the one where the roses uh, reach uh, the highest on the keep. Here you are met uh, by someone you don't recognize, but the sigil upon his, uh, his, his doublet certainly identifies him as a high tower. Well, well, that's who we want to see, I guess. Well. He walks down the stairs of one of the keeps, one of the outer ones, with a view over the Manda and the many pleasure, pleasure barges that sail out there, where the young frolic can enjoy the waters. Well, yeah, especially his arms out. Your king's guard stands aside, bowing, as uh, Lord Arton Hightower, steward of the Reach, uh, one of the most powerful men in the Seven Kingdoms, moves in uh, to greet you. There's him walking in front. Yeah, as he sees Lord Hightower approach, he will certainly, you know, quickly you get off his horse. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> if he <all> the... <laughs> As you entered High Garden, so Ashra disappeared. Okay. Uh, he met someone he knew or something, yeah, of course, of course, and uh, disappeared into one of the mini gardens. Of course. I mean, the young That's squire is probably following Alaric around, or you know. Oh yes. As uh, as Arden Hightower approaches, uh, Desim will bow very formally. He steps down, spreading out his arms a little bit, and says, "Ah." Honored guests, you were expected to come soon. Lord Hightower. You have right sa arrived safely, then I will bid you food and drink. I'm sure you must be hungry from viewing all the beautiful fruits. <laughs> uh, thank you, Lord Hightower. That would, uh, that would please us greatly. Just, I shall have it arranged. He snaps his fingers, and a servant comes from pretty much out of nowhere with glasses of wine, another one, moving to presumably dress up a small table somewhere. All right. Each offer it a glass of wine and what seems to be sort of a fruit cracker. Oh. Presumably what they use here for bread and salt. Sure. Wonderful. Uh -huh. You are charged with, do you think, breaking the peace. The king... And as such, there will be a trial. I will facilitate this as easily for you as possible. You're an honorable house, and I see no reason um, to treat you differently than any other guests until such a time where your guilt has been proven. That's a um, slightly too. Very good. Lord Hightower, we appreciate uh, we appreciate your your accommodations. You will be given uh, the best of rooms, with an overlook, overview of the Manda. You will sleep on golden silks, as long as you promise not to leave the keep, unless you bring Sir Corbury with you. Other than that, you have my leave of the castle. Welcome to Highgard. Thank you, my lord. Have the others involved in the trial also arrived? 
Yeah, some, but far from all. Most of them come from further away than you. I suppose. It will be some time before the trials begin. Regardless of that, we will hear the uh, accusers first. You will be heard afterwards. You need not be present for the accusations, but you can if you wish. Uh, we wish to be present, Lord Hightower. You will stand tribunal then. You will not say anything, no matter how provoking their accusations might be. And we would enjoy a similar silence from our opposing side when we speak, yes? Yes. Very good. Then, after that, the judges will make their judgment. And um, the gods will smile as justice is found. No doubt. As if there's anything you might require, if there are any witnesses from outside High Garden you wish to call upon, speak to me or one of the servants. They will allow you to send letters from the castle's uh, rookeries. All right. Mm -hmm.